hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine tutorial series so today i am going to work on showing up a notification when i am running out of arrows so as you can see in the top left corner i already have three arrows and let's shoot all those three arrows one two three and no arrows i'm out of arrows so yeah when i press hold i get this no arrows notification in red in the middle of the screen well honestly it looks a little bit ugly for now but i just i only want to show the how to do that and as always this episode is also sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me all right so let's first open the character blueprint here right so I think I already defined some method like has arrows yeah here like has arrows so this equipping bow part will take place only if this has arrows returns true and this method is defined in B blueprint quiver so now that I have arrow count I can define a method like this if the arrow count is larger than 0 return true otherwise it will return false so here mm, now let's uh, change the default value of the arrow count to something like let's make it zero and let's check if that change effects here yeah it is affected so let's see what happens now yeah so at the moment I am pressing alt to equip the bow but nothing happens because the arrow count is zero so here I should show some notification like no arrows or out of arrows something like that but this part is happening this check is happening in the ch human so in order to show arrow uh, show that notification that should happen in this ch player class so how can i do that right let's first uh, change our ui in order to show some notifications mm, it's here anime details with it. notifications I already have this yeah I already have this tip so this I am using for things like uh, press E to mount host uh, uh, press E to attack uh, stealth kill for things like that I have used this one so I can use the same thing short tip for the ammo part notification as well but uh, there should be a difference because this is a tip and its color is I have defined like this let's let me put some sample text so that you can see it yeah it's like this so this is yellow 
so for uh, something like no ammo I think it would be better if I put it in a color like red so there are four show tip well let's not worry about that later worry about that now let's just implement it using this one okay so now I'll create a method a function in the ch human show location and there should be an input in the type of string and as for the ch human class I am not implementing this method because for enemy characters and uh, other characters that I am going to that would be descendants of this ch human character wouldn't have a use maybe we can use it like this I can implement or override this method in the player class to show a notification and for the enemy class NPC characters we can use the same method and override it to do something like uh, to do a shout I am out of arrows or something like that so that the player can hear it and take decisions accordingly right so for now it's here and if this is false I'll show call this show notification with out of arrows so no arrows and here let's override that function in the ch player class where is show notification this is not in alphabetical load I wonder what this order is here I don't know how this order is happening right now I already have the this widget notifications well this is uh, this part I did in a previous episode but I don't like this uh, the architecture of this one because here I have this user widget and it's not good because it would bet it would be better if I integrate the same function uh, into the heart so that I can handle all the UI stuff through this heart so yeah let's open the heart and this is implementing this BPI UI and let's see if I already have implemented that show notification No, cool. So let's implement that. Yeah, actually, this is show tip. Right, let's implement a new, add a new method to this interface. It should be more like a warning. Uh, no and the input must be a, a string like this and also I would require some kind of a duration for this notification 
so let's add an integer or a float oh do I really need that not really let's not complicate this anymore okay now I'll implement this oops I have to compile this first right now this is the heart so where is my heart widget here so let's add that notification where should I add it something like no arrows should appear here therefore let's add a text like this the centered and let's set the anchor to the middle and the alignment to 0.5 right color should be yeah, let's leave it make it red and yeah I can give a shadow let's give a white shadow so that it would be clear on any background and delete the text this must be a variable uh, instead of notification I'll use the term warning because this is rather like a warning more than a notification out of arrows it must be a warning yeah so I'll change this one into for me. And yeah, this one also should be a warning. Okay, this is also changed now. Mm -hmm warning text let's uh, implement the a custom method like this add custom event show warning and there should uh, what I'm going to do is set in the text of this one set text this by default I should keep this one hidden and only when I set a warning text I should make this one visible like this and then let's uh, give it some duration like two seconds and again make it invisible or hidden like this right um, now I can call this custom event through my blueprint all right I need to implement that again show warning widget hard show warning 
make sure to call this function not this interface function because this widget hard is not implemented in that interface and text like this also yeah now we need to call that hard event here in the ch player get a reference to hard show only interface message okay and i think that's all i have to do let's see yeah when i press alt i get the warning no arrows in the middle of the screen that's pretty big and okay for now i think i should add some sound effect as well let me check if I have any suitable sound effects for that. I think this sound effect is suitable for that. So let's play that here. Play sound 2D. And the sound effect is this one. Right. Now let's see what happens when I already have some arrows and when I run out arrows, run out of arrows, what happens? I think I haven't checked uh, that. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I get the notification. Okay, here is a bug. <laughs> and I should ask this guy to put back the bow to the back but i leave that bug fixing for another day because time is it has already taken about 17 minutes and i'm going to stop at this point for today and yeah i will continue to work on the system until until it it is perfect or good enough for me and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club uh, link would be in the description below and thank you for watching see you in the next episode goodbye